Hey, thanks for joining me today on Just Cook with Michael. Today, after watching this video, you're going to know how to make a delicious mahi-mahi dish with a tropical fruit salsa. I made the tropical fruit salsa on the last video, so if you want to go back and watch that, then come back to this one. The ingredients for this recipe are mahi-mahi, some of that tropical fruit salsa. I have some avocado that I'm going to dice in and put into the tropical fruit salsa. I add my avocado at the end because I do not want it to oxidize and start to turn brown. I have a little bit of fresh ginger, some rice wine vinegar, some dragon fruit that's in the salsa. I'm also going to use it as garnish, delicious. Some macadamia nuts, goes so well in there. I'm going to cook the mahi-mahi in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and I'm also going to marinate the mahi-mahi in a little bit of the rice wine vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, and the ginger. Just going to marinate it for about an hour. Probably could do anywhere from like 30 minutes to I would say two hours at the most. And it just gives a little nice, delicious flavor there, a little more complexity to it. An important thing to remember with mahi-mahi is that it's a lean fish, so you do not want to overcook it. So again, I always have my thermometer stuck on the fridge. This one has a magnet on it, ready to go. 140 at the highest, you want to pull it off the heat because if you let it go too much, it just gets dry. It's just, you know, it's not like salmon or some other fish that might have more fat in it. I would highly suggest getting an instant read thermometer. If you don't, at least like, especially if you're just cooking for yourself, when you think it's about medium rare, cut it in half to get a look at how it's cooking. Because, you know, I'd rather have you cut it in two pieces and cook it perfect so it's just a little bit medium rare in the middle than overcook it. It's just so important for a lot of fish, but especially your lean fish. All right, we're ready to marinate the mahi-mahi. For each filet you have, this is about a six ounce portion, I would say about a quarter teaspoon of fresh ginger, Play about one teaspoon of rice wine vinegar. Just a little bit of some kind of oil. I think it just helps the, the flavorings stick to the fish as it's marinating. A little bit of a salt. I'm using some kosher salt. Put that over. A little fresh ground pepper. And that's it. If you were going to cook it within an hour, I would, especially if your house, if it's not summer, like my house is probably about 65 right now, I would just leave it out. Let that mahi, you know, this vinegar is already killing any bacteria on the exterior of it. You definitely don't want it being ice cold when you put it in your pan, because again, we, we want it to cook evenly and we want it to be a little bit medium rare in the middle because the leanness of the fish. So like, that looks good. Maybe every 15 minutes, half hour, give it a flip and make sure it's being coated in the marinade well and uh, you're good to go. If you're doing quite a few portions, I would probably do this like in a gallon size Ziploc bag. You know, increase your proportions of vinegar and spices, salt and pepper, and then just kind of massage, turn the bag over every few minutes in the refrigerator. Put some of that fresh ginger on top. Oh, so good. Mm -mm -mm. Can't wait to try it. All right, let that marinate and we'll get back to it. Okay, now I'll get my garnish ready, the dragon fruit. When I made the fruit salsa, I put half the dragon fruit in the fruit salsa, and I reserved some for garnish. So you just want to cut this in about quarter inch rounds. With a paring knife, I'll go through it and just cut out the skin. So it's a nice medallion of dragon fruit. Turn on the stove. Have our carbon steel pan on. I'll start it off medium high heat and then I'll lower it down a bit. Probably have about a half a teaspoon of olive oil in there. Now I'm going to take this piece of mahi and dry it off on a paper towel. That's always best if you want to get a good sear. I'm going to have my thermometer ready to go just for demonstration purposes. Right now the interior of the mahi is at 60 degrees. We want to bring that up to about 140, put in the mahi away from us. Yeah, I'll flip over the mahi. Has that nice color. That's that Maillard reaction of the protein. Should be about three minutes on each side. Okay, the temperature now is about 100 degrees, the internal temperature. Once it gets above like 115, 120, really keep an eye on it. Now it's at 116, so it starts to go really fast. Okay, the dish is plated up. Looks fabulous. It's bordered with the dragon fruit, 
fruit salsa on top sprinkled with macadamia nuts. Thanks for joining me today. I'll go out and cook for someone you love.